Scientists have successfully proved that genetically modified viruses can be used to effectively treat cancer after researchers used a modified version of, herpes, of the herpes virus to successfully treat patients with skin cancer. All right, Madison, this is kind of weird, all right? It's just strange, but it's also extremely interesting. It's called virotherapy. It uses biotechnology to convert viruses into therapeutic agents. We've seen this a lot lately. We see it more and more. The idea of using one illness to fight another, I mean, to fight cancer within your body without that illness being able to replicate in other cells other than that actual cancer cell, which is really cool and it might just be the future to fighting cancer. We've seen it, uh, we've seen uh, polio being injected to fight certain types of cancer and now we're seeing the herpes drug, I mean the herpes virus used to fight skin cancer. Yeah, I mean it's interesting that the scientists actually discovered how that one disease... Yeah, whose idea was that? Yeah, <laughs> that one disease can solve another disease and that they made an advanced version of a, you know, a disease that plagues people but actually to be able to save people's lives, especially skin cancer, which is a very high number of people that are affected by it every year. So if this is actually a cure, which we're always looking for new discoveries on cancer, I mean, it's one of our biggest thing that's plaguing um, people today. So this is actually really interesting science. Yeah, and it's, and it's it's promising too, which yeah. is which is perhaps the most interesting part. Um, according to a statement from the research team, uh, the drug which they've made with this modified version of the herpes virus within it, it's called TVEC, T-V-E-C, and it works by multiplying inside cancer cells and then bursting them within. Um, so you ingest the, the drug and this these herpes virus cells kind of go on the seek and destroy mission and, and, and they only can replicate inside of the cancer cells, not in any of your healthy cells. Um, otherwise, this obviously wouldn't be effective at all because then you would potentially also get herpes, but that's not the case here. It goes in and it multiplies within the cell and it kills the cancer cells while keeping you herpes-free and hopefully, ultimately, cancer-free as well, which is pretty cool. So they did a study, uh, 436 patients, all of whom had aggressive malignant melanoma the most common type of skin cancer. Um, over 16% of the patients responded positively to the drug after more than six months, um, compared to 2.1 who were given a control treatment. Um, about 10% of the patients treated experienced a complete remission, which is unbelievable. And, it, and it's so just crazy that herpes is the key to that. And this might just mean, you know, that we're gonna keep finding different ways of fighting different types of cancer. Uh, it's also interesting, it's, it's worth mentioning that each cancer works differently and you have to use different tools to fight them. So it's, 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 it's pretty crazy. Yeah, and something so terrible as herpes, it's actually good news to actually, that it actually is doing something that is for the good now for someone, which is an interesting thing because most people, you know, you hear about herpes and it brings up, you know, shocking, you know, you never want to hear about herpes, but now it's for it to be saving lives and on a scale of a study at that rate, it's fantastic, so it's good news. Yeah, it's, it's a different kind of herpes. It's modified, so it's kind of like herpes on steroids, which doesn't affect you, but only hurts the cancer cells, which is awesome. And it could really help a lot of people, especially people living in hot climates, like places in Australia where two out of three people will get skin cancer by the age of 70, which is unbelievable. So, very promising for uh, the fight against skin cancer, melanoma particularly. We want to know what you guys have to say about all this. Herpes being the next tool to fight cancer. It's weird, isn't it? But it's true. We want to know what you guys think, so comment below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Lip TV for more.